Hi, uh, welcome to the video. And this is the uh, video to show you how to convert a JSON file into a SQL Server or update the data from JSON file into SQL Server. So here we use import pi MySQL OS and JSON and then import pi ODBC. So what we are trying to do is we are basically getting the file path from this is the file which I have uh, in this location and then what we do is basically we have uh, to say basically open file dot read and JSON underscore data is a variable we assign that and then after that we basically load this particular uh, file into json underscore ob object right so the these two statements will get all the data into json underscore object in a particular text format then what we want to write is basically if it is an integer then basically we would like to uh, put that value in the utf8 format if it is a string then you want to put it in the utf8 format otherwise you want to uh, basically uh, uh, convert it to value so the way we are doing here is if let us say if anything is an integer then basically we are converting into integer otherwise we are leaving it as a string and then here we connect the database uh, using uh, this particular string driver equals sql server and server and database name and then uh, server name database name and it's a trusted connection as yes so that connection parameter we store in PyOD you by using connect uh, command and we store that in the connect co and nn variable then after that we basically open the cursor cursor is nothing but we open the connection and then what we do is we loop through that json underscore object and assign each column this into this particular aws account is a variable and also a column so what i putting the value of AWS account column in or the value on of this AWS account in this variable AWS account if the value doesn't exist then we are saying it as none and in the similar way we store all the values in the string and then what we do is we we do a cursor dot execute and put the insert statement in such a fashion that you uh, make sure the values are coinciding with the columns so if you are using 10 columns then you put 10 question marks here and then pass on the variables for 10 columns here in the insert statement that is cursor.execute this one will insert all the data into SQL Server then after that we are basically committing the insert and then closing the connection so that's how we basically um, uh, load the JSON data into uh, SQL Server. And this is how um, the file looks like in SQL Server. If you see here, this uh, basically what we are trying to do is use. Um, so this is the database we used, if you remember. Uh, if you see here, this is the database used u underscore apm, and then what we are doing is what we are where we are inserting is this table is already created EC2 data, so basically we are we have inserted in EC2 data. So if you run this command, so you see AWS account all this information is stored in this particular file, and if you want to run this again, then what we want to do is basically uh, uh, just select this and then let's count how many records you have in this particular table and then 21 24 right now what we are going to do is we are going to execute again so once you execute it uh, we basically should see uh, more than 21 22 uh, records uh, 2000 records uh, so it's running so basically this uh, this count is uh, taking time, so let's see um, if this particular 
count runs and give it gives us the value so it should be double the value I think the uh, commit command is still running so we'll see how many records we have in this table ECT data see here 3186 so what we can do is we can basically truncate again table EC2 data and we are just uh, getting the count so if you see the count the count is zero now what we do is basically we are uh, we have the insert statement and then we have commit and close now what we do is we play we do shift and enter on this command and it's successful and there is uh, no successful message coming up so what we do is uh, go here and try to see how many records you have in the table so now it should be coming showing you some entries in this EC2 uh, data uh, table and uh, that way you see you insert the records in the JSON file from the JSON file into SQL Server database and that is uh, what uh, see here and if you start that EC2 data then you will be seeing all the records see here and this is storing the data in the format of uh, whatever format you need so you're splitting all the columns so this video helps you load the data from json file into sql server database